Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Mm -hmm. Well, listen. I want to share something with you. Dealing with team. Being on the team. Now, in the previous video, I talked about if I buy you a basketball and you are a really good player, you're trying to get in the NFL, so you're getting all your grades up, you're doing everything you can, you're practicing, practicing, practicing. You are truly applying yourself. And I get you this basketball. It's a gift. It's yours to keep, to do with as you please. However, here you are on the team, and I'm using the same example, but I'm going into more detail because I really want to drive this point home. Here you are on a team, and one of your teammates gets on your nerves for a little moment, and you decide to take the basketball, the gift I gave you, and you throw it and hit him as hard as you can on upside the head, and it knocks him out, and the paramedics have to take him to the hospital. Now, what do you think I will do if I were your coach? When the coach hears about it, guess what? As good as you play, as bad as the team needs your gift, your skill, you're off the team. You're not on the bench, you're off the team. That's deep. You cannot be on a team when you abuse your own teammates. It makes no sense. If you are that out of control, someone could die at your hands. Doesn't have to be the basketball. You're liable to pick up anything. All that venom in you, all that hatred and rage, that murder, we don't have room for that on my team. Now, if, if the coaches, are, we're talking from a human being standpoint. That's the coach speaking. He is not holy like God is holy. God is kadistu holy, that is without defect. He's, pure, he's holiness in its purest form, in its purest form. God's not going to play that. He's not going to allow you to stay on his team. You can do too much harm. Your venom can contaminate too many of the other team members. And you being in such a leadership position can contaminate, corrupt, and infect other believers that are on your team. When you think that you can do what you're big and bad enough to do, some of you men, you have a wife, you have kids, you think it's your right as the man of the house to knock your wife flat on her can if she doesn't line up with your rules and regulations if she doesn't meet your expectations it's booty whooping time girl I gotta whoop you into shape do you really think that is God you really think that comes from the Holy Spirit oh it comes from a spirit alright you might be spirit filled but you ain't spirit filled with the Holy Ghost because God is love love doesn't beat not <laughs> No, love doesn't disrespect. Love doesn't punch and kick and, and forcefully have its way. That's not love. That's demonic. Whether you know it or not, it is demonic. Love doesn't call their kids stupid. Poop butt. Get your lazy butt up off the floor before I knock you back down again. Stop that. I said stop that. No, that's not love. Okay, that is a sore spot for me, so I'm not going to 
I'm not going to stay on that because I've driven that point home in many videos. So my point to you is when you expect God to include you in on his program, you have to play by his rules, not yours. His. You have to do away with childish things. And trust me, it is very childish when you have to lay your hand on another adult because you can't have your way now. That's childish. That's immaturity. That's emotional retardation. Go to God and ask him. He'll paint an uglier picture than what I'm painting. Blow your mind. See how far you got to go. Now, when you are willing to lay down your life, that means you're willing to lay down your rights. That means you're willing to relinquish control. Hard one. That's a hard pill to swallow. For those of you narcissistic control freaks. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard. But that's God. That's not my way. That's God's way. I'm human. But it's the Holy Spirit that helps me. Without the Holy Spirit... I'd be a mess. I'd be just as jacked up. My point is, we have to obey. We can't just believe. The Bible says, the devils believe and tremble. But they're demons. They're not believers. They're demons. But they believe. Sometimes demons believe more than we do. They know who Jesus is. Oh, they know their opponent. They know who their foe is. They know what they're dealing with. We as human beings? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we think he's, uh, he's a little wimp up there. You know, he, he don't have time for our little baby sins. He ain't, he ain't bothered by that mess. That's what you think. That's because you don't know him. You get to know him. Take the time to know him. You keep your hands to yourself. You shut your mouth from being so verbally abusive. You'll take away your desire to control. You will you'll quench that desire to dominate over someone. Cuss somebody out. Make them do what you want to do. Make them. Force them. Because you can overpower them. You can intimidate them. You lay all that to rest, baby, to please God. If you really knew who he was. But it's sad when the devils believe and tremble and the saints believe and sin. I'm going to stop there. <laughs>